Hi guys, what's up? It's Joe Pitt here, back with another video, and in this video, I'll be doing another review for a movie that I've seen on Now TV. This is called Meet the Robinsons. In the last video, I did a review for The Invention of Lion, which I'll leave a link to down below. There are going to be spoilers in this, so without further ado, let's get on with it. So, this is a film about a young boy called Lewis, and he meets this kid, um, which I'll talk about in a bit, and they... This kid then, like, he then finds his family. He, Lewis gets to know them, and, like, they're from the future, basically. So this film was released on the 30th of March 2007 in the USA and the 23rd of March 2007 in the UK. It's got a four-star rating on Now TV. It's a Disney film. I watched it on the 16th of May, but I've just not had time to, like, do the video. I know I've done other videos on other days, but, like... I was in the middle of watching one film on that day and then like I was doing other videos that day and like I'll do that video next. So that's why this video is a bit late really. Um so yeah, Lewis is a lonely orphan and also a successful inventor. Um at the start we see this um woman, uh, we don't know her name, we don't know what she looks like really, and she drops well, what we know is a baby, but we don't know his name yet, um, at this Sixth Street orphanage. And then um, the woman, some woman of the orphanage, opens the door, sees this kid, and like tries to look for the person who left it whatnot, and decides to take it um, and look after it. Um, he's made a lot of things, Lewis. There was this PB and J sandwich, so peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, he was having an interview with Mr. Harrington, who had a peanut allergy, and, um, like, he's had 124 interviews, and he's not been abducted, so he's 13 years old soon. We had, ah, that's good, Joe, um, his mate, I can't remember who, who it was called, but, like, his mate, like, short kid, um, he swapped juice for tea, and he's... Like this person that just doesn't like Lewis's inventions. And when he's inventing, it's keeping him up. Um, he was creating something for the science fair, Lewis. Um, someone had coffee patches, this invention. Um, Twelve of them. There was a man with a bowler hat, which I'll get onto a bit. Um, he messed with Lewis's invention. And like it was this memory scanner. And basically he said... You know, you go to whatever date you want and it, like, shows you a memory bit of it. The guy in the bowl of hay looks a bit like Waluigi does. Um, Vesuvius, there was this um, invention someone did. It blew up after. Well, it didn't at the start. Um, there was these fire ants. I think it was jelly inside of the volcano. Um, then Lewis, after the invention, went bad. But it was because... Um, the guy in the bowler hat, his, like, hat device un unscrewed the thing so it wouldn't work. And he was just like, oh, it's not worked, whatever. But then he fixed it and then he didn't know how to work it eventually. So Lewis got mad. He was, like, ripping out pages. He threw a ball. It eventually came back. And that's when we saw the other guy um, that would take him, you know, to sort things out. Um, he had this coupon for tanning sal a tanning salon, but, like, it was saying, oh, this is my identity, whatever, but no. They went to the future, there was these, like, bubbles that people travelled in, insta-build. Ha the hat of the bowler hat guy uh, was, like, helping, giving the script. He was then, he failed with the invention. Then his next plan was to get the boy, um... And, like, tell him how it works and then pass it off as his own. Um, Uncle Joe works out. That's what they said. But he's actually this fat person on a chair. There's an octopus as a butler. I think Tom Selleck is in this film. He plays Cornelius, I think. Um, there was, like, these singing frogs on drums, cello, saxophone, etc. Um, some eyes changed. Of I can't remember who. Um, there was this invisible time machine. So basically, there was two time machines from the family. One got robbed by the bowler hat guy, and then one is still with them, but then it broke down. And then 
there was a mini bowler hat which um, the bowler hat guy used to control. Um, a robot had food in him. Uh, so basically, the robot is this like future inventor. He in he's invented all this stuff, and then he comes up with this peanut butter jelly thing, which um, Lewis managed to have a go at. And well, he failed, but like they enjoyed him failing because you know it's better to fail because if you fail, you know then how to succeed from that. Um, it was this like food fight with meatballs. Um, Doris is the name of the hat or door 15. Um, I think Wilbur is the name of the friend that finds Lewis, takes him to this, um, you know, future really. Um, the, then the man with the bowler hat, he like found this frog, decided to put a hat on him and take control of him. Um, it was small, but it wasn't scary. Um, and it was like, this plan wasn't thought through, whatever, master. And then um, they threw water on themselves. Um, thinking about getting a dinosaur, he was. He got it, but then he was, um, Lewis got into this corner. And then he was like, I have a big head and little arms. This plasma wasn't thought through, really. Master. <laughs> um, frogs captured um, the mini hat and took him away. Um, then the family of Wilbur's said, I think it was, this, they were like, want to be a Robinson. But like they didn't know he was from the past because of his hair. That's why he was wearing this hat, to keep it disguised. Um... Then they found out, and they were like, you're grounded till you die. Um, they sh he showed him his hair, that's why. Um, then, bowler hat guy was his mate called Goob, actually. Yeah, Goob was the name of the guy, and, like, he was telling the story. So, basically, that night, Lewis was doing the invention. He was kept up, and he had this baseball game, and he lost the baseball game because he was too tired, and he missed the catch. He got beat up and then thought, you know what, I I don't want to do this, whatever. And then decided, I'm going to take this invention and yeah. So, went back to the place he went to first. Um, helping hats were on the Robinsons. So, basically, it was Doris City. Um, there were evil hats and Doris was making these work. This is what the future would be if like Doris was in control. Doris used Goob, um, and then Lewis was like, I'm never going to invent you, and she it just disappeared. Lewis met his real mum and dad, um, and now he's part of the Robinsons, showed Lewis his actual one, um, I think Wilbur, his actual mum, I think, but then he was like, no, no, I don't want to, that's where my real parents are. Um, then it was like, back at the start of you know, the orphanage thing that he took him to. And I think Lewis is Wilbur's, like, dad or something, I think. Um, Goob eventually caught the ball because Lewis woke him up. And then a motto as well, keep moving forward. And then there was, like, this Walt Disney quote at the end. Overall, I think I would give this film three stars. Anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.